Don't eat the seafood. Now what? What could they be doing to the seafood? With all the craziness going on, no one's talking about this one. You're not gonna believe what's about to happen next. A warning you should know about. Something that hasn't entirely happened yet, but is about to. What you should know coming right up. If you guys are brand new here, welcome to our awesome community where we do prepping tips, emergency preparedness, and we go over news and awareness, stuff you probably wanna know about find value in that be sure to hit the notification bell let's jump into this one so no kidding i am cruising through tons of articles going through tons of paid subscriptions of all kinds of news that i get and trust me guys it's a lot i came across this article and i was like wait no one's talking about this kind of a big deal and you won't believe what the u.s is doing about it now before i tell you what the u.s is doing let me catch you up on what's happening Certain news agencies have put out some articles, not articles that have floated to the top, but trust me, they're there. China bans seafood from Japan. Now, why would China do that? China gets tons and tons, I'll tell you how many, a lot of seafood from Japan. Why would they completely shut this down? Well, it's because it's after Tokyo begins releasing treated radioactive water into the ocean. You gotta be thinking, releasing treated radioactive water back into the Pacific Ocean, where there's already a problem. Not into the ground where more filtration cleanse could come from. How about right back into the Pacific Ocean where it's already been contaminated? Sounds like a perfect place for non-validation, right? You ask me, there's no better place to put it to hold them liable on if it was really treated and clean and safe. Well, apparently China's thinking the same thing. Since they're one of their biggest customers, I need to get you more information, but hang tight. We come into play. China announced Thursday it was banning all seafood from Japan in response to Tokyo's decision to begin releasing treated radioactive wastewater from the Fukushima nuclear plant dramatically escalating an already tense feud between the two neighbors. The release is part of a controversial plan that has not met fierce objections from many of the consumers as, as well as some regional countries with Beijing leading the criticism. And too late now because they started releasing it last Thursday's afternoon. But don't worry, Japan's in a crisis situation and they say it's safe. Japan has argued throughout the building controversy that discharging the treated water is safe and urgently needed to free up space at the crippled nuclear power plant. What do you do in a crisis situation? Insane, right? You might ask, how much? The company is expected to discharge around 200 to 210 cubic meters of treated wastewater. From Friday, it plans then to continually release 456 cubic meters of treated wastewater over a 24 hour period of time totaling 7,800 cubic meters over a 17 day period. I already know, you guys are thinking, well, who's measuring that? Probably nobody, it's in a secure location. So if I had to make a wild guess, probably 250,000 cubic meters. Now trust me, it gets worse. Tell me down in the comments below what you guys are thinking, because there's a lot of controversy on how much of this stuff has already got into the Pacific Ocean, how it's already affected sea life across the entire Pacific Ocean. There's even talk how it's affected the whales. Now keep this one in your back pocket. The US has backed Japan and Taiwan has agreed that the amount of tritium being released should have a minimal impact. So reminder, treated wastewater, but has a minimal amount of tritium being released into the Pacific Ocean. You guys know exactly what's going on here. So now China, along with Pacific Islands, have been very vocal in the opposition against this whole thing because of the regional and international impact and potentially threaten human health and marine environment, which I think has already happened. So it's just gonna get a lot worse. So before China announced the seafood ban on Thursday, its foreign affairs ministry said that the wastewater released would pass on the risks to the whole world and extend the pain to the future generations of humankind. Now, a lot of us think that this is already happening because we've been eating a lot of seafood all over the world and Japan's one of the hugest suppliers. But many are thinking it's about to get a lot worse because secure facility, probably hire the guys that measure the amounts. The amounts are probably from a collected amount that's probably less than the rest. And then all of this toxic wastewater needs to be gone. So what better way? They're sitting there 
there right on the Pacific Ocean. Not good. So yes, this is causing all kinds of protests, ripples. How is it gonna affect you? Let's go into that. Now, as many of you know, since 2021, a lot of nefarious things have happened. And some of this controversy has already been in effect, but how has it been affecting you? Well, right here from Trading Economics, look how it affects you. Look at the graph in 2021 to 2022. You notice anything different there? Yeah, twice the size. That kind of tells you when all of these issues started to arise. Someone needs to buy the seafood for maybe a better price. A lot of powerful people with a lot of money that want to make a lot of money that make some bad decisions that doesn't have the best interest of the people. So keep an eye on that next graph. I bet you it's going to be twice the size of those. Before I issue my warning to you guys, you might be wondering also, I mean, where's China going to get all their seafood? A lot of crazy things happen when it has to do with this much money. Reuters state that the government will tap additional funds of about several tens of billions of yen, which is hundreds of millions of dollars from the government's budget reserve for the current fiscal year to fund the measures, to fund, to fund the measures. Big money, guys. Tokyo's government has set up two funds worth 80 billion yen, which is about 548 million, to help develop new sales channels and keep excess fish frozen until they can be sold as the demand recovers. Hence, the United States will come back to that. More than 700 Japanese companies exported about 600 million worth of aquatic products to China in 2022, making it the biggest market for Japan's exports, following by Hong Kong, which announced its own ban on seafood imports from 10 Japanese regions after the Fukushima release. And just food for thought, $1 is equal to 100 and 46.02 yen. Yeah, their money kind of sucks, but I'm telling you, we're headed down that road right now. Now I'm gonna tell you what the US is gonna do, but before that, where is China gonna get all their seafood? How about another piece of the puzzle? CNBC reports, Russia hopes to raise fish, seafood exports to China after Japan ban. Well, no kidding. We knew that China and Russia were kind of running around together. In a statement Friday from Russia, the Chinese government in general is promising for Russian fish products. We hope to increase the number of certified Russian companies and ships, the volume of products and its range. Well, yet again, China and Russia striking deals. Not sure how you guys are feeling about radioactive contamination, but it sounds like a pickle. I'll tell you what I'll be doing here in a second, but right here on Yahoo Finance, it says, US ambassador to Japan will publicly eat Fukushima fish in a show of support, amid radioactive water release outrage. Quickly, US is stepping up to the plate, to say it's all okay, but why would they do that if they weren't gonna go ahead and probably set up a ton of deals, relieve Japan, and guess where all that fish is coming from? You guys might be wondering, who is this US ambassador? I'll tell you who he is, Emmanuel, who has formerly served as mayor of Chicago and ex-US president Barack Obama's chief of staff. Yeah, more pieces of the puzzle, right? Said this would show not only a solidarity, but a safety to the water's release. Well, let's just see him go down there, take a glass of it and drink it down. Here's my opinion on what's gonna happen. You're gonna see that graph that I showed you earlier, where it already doubled since the thing. You're gonna see next year's graph go through the roof because I'm sure there's gonna be some great deals to buy seafood and serve it all over the United States to all the restaurants. I'm sure it's gonna be pennies on the dollars, the deals that these guys strike. Remember, like in these two videos I've shown you up here about what's going on in your food and your consumer goods, you already know that these huge monopolies and conglomerates are profit over the people, right? That's why we gotta vote with our dollars, people. We've got safe alternatives for the people here in our community. Check it out, free tour. But like I said, what I think is gonna happen is the United States, they're already broadcasting that it's okay, it's safe, which means they're already in bed with this. We're gonna see a lot of that excess show up here in the States. 100 bucks says we're gonna be picking up a lot of deals. So what should you do? If you think this is a problem, you should probably be reading some labels and making sure that your seafood isn't coming from the Pacific. If I'm buying seafood, that's probably what I'm gonna be looking at is the Pacific, the origin. I mean, these fishing ships cruise all over the Pacific Ocean. So if it says Pacific Ocean, if it says Japan, there's probably a really big chance. Anyway, I'm probably gonna be favoring Atlantic probably a lot more. I don't know, people. 
Things are attacking us from all sides these days. And, and I don't always know exactly what to do, but I do know to make you guys aware of what's going on. We can offer safe consumer goods, but if that's not for you, you guys gotta read labels, you gotta pay attention, and you need to be aware of all kinds of things going on, because there's a lot. So do yourself a favor, stay alert, be smart, read your labels, know exactly where your stuff is coming from and the credibility of that source. American made, family owned, non-toxic, support local, local farmers. And if you're blessed with a little bit of yard, a little bit of acreage, doesn't take much to grow your own stuff. Thought this was quite interesting. Let me know again down in the comments what you guys think. Please share this out because I don't think too many people know about this one. And as I know more, I'll definitely keep you guys posted. Keep prepping, keep learning, keep doing. We'll see you on the next one.